Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kylie Kendall and in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you my postpartum essentials. So before I gave birth to my daughter, I wasn't actually scared of the delivery process, like actually giving birth. I was way more scared about postpartum. So I'm here to kind of share with you my tips and tricks and products that made life a lot easier. My first tip is that whatever hospital you're delivering at, make sure you go on a tour, okay? So this not only helps you feel more comfortable and familiar with where you're gonna be delivering your baby, but also you can ask on this tour or they might just tell you the things that they actually give you after birth, so what they supply you with. For example, if they're gonna give you pads, if they're gonna give you um, mesh panties, those are very basic. Flower. 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 Obviously, very basic items and they should definitely supply you with those but it's good to know what they supply so that you know what you actually need to buy and what you need to bring um, for me for some reason I didn't pay attention to that part or I just didn't ask the right questions um, because I ended up actually buying some things they actually supplied me with so I kind of wasted money so for you I would definitely make sure you ask or just listen a little closer I'm not sure <laughs> while you're on your tour Okay, so I'm gonna start by sharing with you what my hospital supplied for me and kind of show you the progression of how you use these things. So when you first give birth, you're bleeding a lot, okay? That's true, I think for everybody, um, some more than others, but you're definitely gonna be bleeding a lot. So they start by giving you these mesh panties, which everyone on YouTube talked so poorly about mesh panties. I loved the mesh panties, like they were awesome. Why would you wanna use your own if you could use theirs? And these you just throw away when you're done. That's awesome. So basically they give you mesh panties, then they give you one of these huge pads, okay? And they just line it and then you pull it up, okay? Now there are a couple of miracle things that you can use in this to make yourself so much more comfortable. So they also give you my favorite item, an ice pad. This thing is a miracle, okay? You can make your own, they're called pad sickles. You can look them up how to make your own. I didn't mess with that. Um, I just used these and I asked for them so basically you break it, you shake it, and it gets cold. And then you can put this on top of your pad and you just pull it up with your mesh panties. And let me tell you, it's a slice of heaven. Well, as close as, as close to heaven as you can get in a situation like that. But seriously, it helps so much. Some people said they didn't like it. Um, I love it, okay? <laughs> like it, it was, oh my gosh, so nice. It was like the next day after I had her and I think I ran out and I was like, um, excuse me, I need some more of these ice pads and she was like oh we usually only give those to you for the first 24 hours i was like i need one now she got me a couple more you know <laughs> so i don't know if that's like bad to use it after 24 hours but i did i used it for like days so use it for days it's your world they're just living in it at that time okay you just had a baby <laughs> so okay that's that they give you these things they should then they also give you a lot of these these are like dog pee pads <laughs> so basically you just lay this down in the bathroom so that when you change your um mesh panties blood doesn't go everywhere kind of graphic but it's true i mean i took a couple of these home and i also put them in my bathrooms at home because you don't want to be cleaning up a bloody mess okay just use what you get okay and then they also give you some of these a little bit smaller pads for once you bleed a little bit less you can kind of graduate on to these um they also gave me a squirt bottle. This thing is a miracle, okay? I also bought, so before I knew they were gonna give this to me, I bought this Freedom Mom bottle. Now this one's a little bit nicer because it has a spout that you can um, angle like towards you. So this makes sense. So it has like a little, so you can shh. To be honest with you, I didn't need it, okay? If your hospital's gonna give you one of these, I thought it worked just fine, but I'm thankful that I had it because it was nice to have two, like one upstairs and one downstairs when I came home from the hospital, or one that I could have in my diaper bag so if we left the house, I'd have one with me. Um, so I did like having two, but did I need to spend money on this one? Probably not. I felt like this one did the trick just fine, but some people prefer this so much over the other one. So you gotta do what makes you comfortable. Seriously, that's one of my biggest tips. Do whatever makes you comfortable. If you feel like you need something, Get it for yourself because you deserve it okay okay so there's that they also gave me that and the last thing that the hospital gave me were these tux pads 
Um, they actually gave me an off brand. They worked perfectly fine. I had already asked for these and I was gifted them. So I'm glad that I had them, but did I need extra? No, I didn't, but I didn't know the hospital was going to give them to me. So now I feel like I'm kind of backtracking, but I need to tell you all these things, they work so well together. So basically here it goes. You take your mesh panty. Okay. Then you take your big super pad. Then the miracle worker. Then you line some of these pads on there and you pull it up. Feels good. Feels really good. So I probably did that combo um, without, so the big pad I probably used for maybe, I don't know, I don't really remember, maybe a couple days, maybe a week. But then after I like graduated from the big pad, I still used this every once in a while and I definitely use these like daily for like three weeks probably. Um, I don't think it's bad to use them as long as you want or as little as you want, but if you feel like they give you even a little bit of relief, keep doing it, okay? Just keep it up. So that's kind of like how you layer your undergarments. <laughs> that's the word but that's kind of how you use all these things together but like I said it's just nice to know what the hospital gives you that way you're not wasting money or packing extra things because literally the last thing you want to do when you get back home is unpack dumb don't do that don't do that to yourself okay save your money whatever okay so these are the things the hospital gave me okay so something else they do give you while you're in the hospital is a stool softener so I was so scared to take this because I had in my mind the wrong idea, okay? I was like, oh my God, it's a laxative. I don't want to go to the bathroom. I'm so scared to go to the bathroom because honestly, that was one of my biggest fears. I was scared to go to the bathroom after having a baby. You don't know what that's going to feel like. I mean, a lot just went on down there, right? So I was so scared, but honestly, it was no big deal. And I, I tore, I had a second degree tear, so I did not have to have like an episiotomy or, you know, I didn't have like the worst tear possible, but I know that plays a huge role. But honestly, I, it was not nearly as bad as I expected. So don't be scared, okay? Everyone's gonna have a different experience, but just try to relax. Maybe that makes it better. I don't know. But take the stool softener when they give you it and when they give it to you. And when you get home, make sure you have some on hand ready. I just bought the Equate version or the Equate brand. Can you see that? Who cares? You get the idea. Um, I took it for probably like a week or two until I, maybe maybe three weeks. I don't know. Is that safe? I don't know. But I did it and it worked fine for me. It was comfortable, as comfortable as it can get. And um, it was not nearly as bad as I expected. So don't be scared of that. Just always have your handy dandy stool softener on hand. Next, I know that some hospitals do supply you with some Dermaplast spray or a spray similar to it. Um, mine did not. So I was glad that I had this. Now, people really love this. I would say I liked it, but I like the Tux pads better. Um, this basically is just like a cooling spray, so you just spray it on there, and it's cool for a few seconds, it feels good. Oh, Harper's like. Mm. Okay, let me go. So yeah, I like this. It was nice for instant comfort, but did it really help long term? I'm not really sure, it just felt good for the second. I also had purchased this Earth Mama spray, and I liked it equally as well. I felt like this might have been more healing, so maybe it had more of like a healing benefit. Uh, whereas this had more of like an instant just relief benefit so would it hurt to have both no it's not going to break the bank they're both really nice like i said try everything because you never know what might work for you all right so harper's awake now she's behind me playing with a toy on my bed um okay so now that we're done with all the things that you can get from the hospital i'm going to show you a couple of extra things that i purchased that really really helped me so eventually you get kind of sick of wearing a mesh pad and a huge our mesh panties and a huge pad and you want to feel a little bit tighter which is not the right word you want to feel more put together so i bought these always discreet really adorable adult diapers and let me tell you they're awesome i love them the only thing i did not like is that they are scented i don't know why they do that but they are so i love these I wore these for probably a long time. <laughs> like I wore these for a while after coming home from the hospital. They were just really comfortable, a little bit more simple than having to like, you know, hold that big pad in the mesh panty and then stack and layer. This was just like pull it up and then layer whatever you want in there. It's a lot easier. I did bring some of these to the hospital and I'm really glad that I did. Um, I didn't really use them that much in the hospital though because like I said, I tried to just use everything they gave me and then save these things for when I got home. Um, so I love those. And then... I bought other pads when I needed a little bit less coverage <laughs> um, and they were fine, but I loved these. 
Uh, I believe I got them from Target and they were just, the reason I like them is because the adhesive is so sticky. Like you never want your pad to move around when you're bleeding, but especially not after birth. Like you just, you want everything to just feel tucked and you know, like perfectly placed. You don't want anything to be bothering you. So these I felt like were so sticky. They stayed really, really nicely and they're really absorbent even though they're very thin. Um, I also like that they're chlorine free and yeah, so they're really nice. I really, really, really love these. Now, along with those pads, you're eventually gonna have to graduate from your mesh panties, okay? You can't wear mesh panties forever, okay? So, these. I freaking love these. These are from Walmart. They came in a pack of like eight. They're all like nude type colors. This is like the most colorful one in the pack. Um, these are a size extra large, just for reference. They are, they are perfect. I couldn't have found a better pair of underwear for postpartum. I would lie if I said they were just postpartum. I still wear these. I can't say Ryan likes when I wear these, but they, oh, they're so comfortable. I love them. And they're from Walmart. Literally, I think like $8 for the whole entire pack. I would buy them again just for fun. That's how much I like these. So these are awesome. Um, I went up the size than what I would have expected. Like I usually would never buy an extra large, but listen, comfort is key, especially with postpartum. Listen, you just want to be comfortable. Don't worry about looking good. Well, I don't like her. Oh no. <laughs> Um, you don't want to worry about looking good. You just want to be feeling good. Okay, so those are awesome. Now, the star of all things next to the ice pads, of course, are these sweatpants. They're from Target. Oh, it's okay. So anyways, quickly, these are from Target. They're brand, the brand Stars Above. You need these. They're joggers, like they're little pinch at the bottom. They are the softest, most comfortable, most amazing pants. I bought these when I was still pregnant because I was just so uncomfortable at the end. I was miserable. And, um, okay. All right, so this little babe is not going to lay by herself anymore. I think Floyd was licking her. <laughs> so there's that. So here she is. She wants to join. Um, but anyways, these sweatpants, you need them. Even if you're not pregnant, you need them. Okay. Um, I saw they have shorts. So, if you are giving birth during summer, get the shorts, please. Please get them. I'm going to buy them. <laughs> I'm not giving birth this summer. But they're just the most comfortable. I literally still live in these to this day. So, please buy them. They're like $20 or less, and they're amazing. Ugh, I also have a black pair. I mean, they're so worn. Like, they're starting to get see-through. I've probably worn them 300 times. I wish I was exaggerating. I am not. I love them. They're my favorite sweatpants ever. They're so light too, which is nice. Um, so you need them, postpartum or not, please just, just buy them. Guys, one more tip that I forgot to tell you is it is a great idea to get some sort of basket like this. So this one's just from Target, or maybe, actually I think it's from the store at home. Yeah, it was at home. But you can get a basket from anywhere, it doesn't matter. It can be like a box or a cardboard box, it doesn't really matter. But it's really nice to have a little basket like that to put in each of your bathrooms in your house or whatever ones you're gonna be using when you come home because you don't wanna to have to be going up and down the stairs like a ton of times to grab things you need upstairs or that you need downstairs. Um, it's nice to have you know one of each of your postpartum care products in there just to have it separated. You can put it under the sink if you don't wanna leave it out. I left it out, I didn't care. But um, it's nice to have one of those. That's one more tip that I would say you should have because it helps. All right guys, so those are all the products that I used postpartum. Um, those are the ones at least that I felt were the most important and like critical for survival. Uh, really quickly, just a little bit of the story. Like I said earlier in this video, I had a grade, a second grade tear. So it wasn't terrible, um, but you know, it can always be worse, it can always be better. Everyone reacts differently anyways. I mean, you could have the same exact tear as me and it could be way better for you. I have to say though, I was way more scared of postpartum than I should have been. That's just the honest truth. Uh, for me, it got worse a couple of months later and that was with anxiety. So truly the healing process, don't be scared of it, okay? Just kind of embrace it and just be like, wow, I have this freaking perfect baby now and I did that, like, whoa, I am awesome. And my body is so amazing and you know, it just, Maybe it hurts more than you notice because you're so obsessed with your new baby and you're just so thankful and in love and you just don't even think about down there, you know? Um, I have to say though, I did notice, like I would, I follow lots of other moms and some people like bounce back way quicker than I did. 
Um, honestly, I have to say, I did not feel 100% down there. Like, I didn't want anything going on down there for like at least 10 weeks. I never was like, oh, six to eight weeks, I got cleared and I was good to go and I could have sex and I could do this. I wasn't doing that, <laughs> okay? I did not feel right for a long time. And I would say probably not even until close to like 15 weeks postpartum that I feel like 100% like myself. So don't rush the healing process. Seriously, take your time, you know, just relax and give your body all that it needs to get better. You just went through a serious trauma when you give birth and your body deserves the rest and you deserve to do whatever in the heck you want. So I hope that this video helped you. Um, I hope you feel more prepared. I hope you feel a little less nervous because it's totally worth it. Every single you know, fear or pain you're gonna have is so worth it, but really it's not as bad as they say, at least for me, it wasn't. Um, not to be, oh God, my foot's gotta go outside. I mean, I just cannot, <laughs> catch a break. Um, not to be really like jinxing myself for my next time if I'm lucky enough to have a next time. Um, but seriously though, don't be scared. Just know how freaking awesome, beautiful, and strong you are. It's worth it, so, so worth it. If you have any questions about postpartum, even things that might be a little more TMI, please don't hesitate to ask. I have no problem sharing. Um, yeah, so ask me anything you need to. I am here, I wanna support you and encourage you and empower you. And if you are a pregnant mama, good luck. You can do this, you got this. You're gonna do amazing and it's gonna be perfect. So, all right guys, please subscribe if you are new. Please give this video a like if you liked it, of course. And I will see you next time. I love you! Hi!